Previously on the Ultimate T-Shirt Saga. Hey, a book? Whoever gets this, help me out. Close. Mmm, I gotta get my chicken. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Stay away! Ultimate T-Shirt? Find out exactly what this chicken's been up to with his custom crafting. Hey, what's going on guys? Log.zip here. You wanna make some great armor slash T-Shirts, do ya? Well, good, because this is part two of the drumstick adventure. And drumsticks got some amazing armor. They're gonna be able to add to Minecraft 1.10 and Onward's Worlds using a simple structure block. Installation details at the end of the video, but this is part two of the three pod epic involving drumstick. If you missed part one, well you just saw a little previously thing, right, and now you should know. Part three is coming soon. Make sure you subscribe so you see right as it comes out. But with that, let's get into the special armors that drumstick has learned how to make over his years as a leather worker. Hmm, all the recipes are right here. We've got five special armors. We're gonna save the best one for last. I'm sorry, I got it. But, we've got five different armors. One for attack, one for growing things, one for floating things, one for spawn eggs, one for something real special. Oh yeah! <laughs> but, you're gonna need a golden egg, which you can see here. Ooh, delicious. I'm gonna hide the tool tips so it doesn't take away from, yeah. Because with the tool tips, you can just tell that it's a retextured diamond hoe. But we don't want that, do we? <laughs> so you're gonna need a resource pack as well, but again, all the installation at the end. First things first. You'll need to have done the dungeon adventure with Drumstick. That is also this whole boss fight. Everything's gonna be for download in like a day or two. But once you've done that, you'll unlock Drumstick and the ability to make his special armors. This is the area you do it. You can only do it in this area. The first recipe, though, is going to be the offensive. Armor of the century. You ready for this? You're gonna need a golden egg. Well, let me let me show you how to get the golden egg first. I forgot. Leave me alone. In order to get a golden egg. You're gonna need some speckled melon, aka glistering melon, aka Drumstick's favorite snack. You'll drop three melons into the nest right by his cage. Boom. 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 And he'll turn his egg melon eggs into the golden egg. Uh, I don't know how it works. Don't ask questions. <laughs> but you'll get a golden egg every time you give three melons to Mr. Drumstick. And once you've done that, you'll have the recipes along with everything you see here in order to make some great armor. So, this one requires four rose red dyes, an iron sword, the golden egg, single leather tunic, and ten feathers on these slots. Once you've done that, check it out, the red shirt. We got that red shirt, baby. What you think, Drum? He has no opinion. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this thing on. Boom! Ooh, now he's got an opinion. Throw a seed to summon chickens that will fight for you for 15 seconds. This shirt will break. Did you just poop out an egg? <laughs> He's not sure either. 15 uses on this shirt. Let me show you this thing in action. What the red shirt does is quite simple. Throw some seeds on the ground while you're wearing it, and a mob of chickens will form. Check it out. Look at that. It's a mob of chickens. Now, it doesn't do you much good unless you're being attacked, but that's why we're doing this. Check it out. We're about to get attacked. Now, look. The mob of chickens will begin attacking other mobs. Look at that. You see they're going at it. It's delicious. It lasts for 15 seconds and then it disappears. The moment it disappears though, you can just drop another one down and all of a sudden, your dear chicken friends will be at your aid. Look, it's literally- watch this. Oh man! Check this out. And you can spawn in multiple at once. So we just spawned in so many. And look, all the chickens, they're all mobbing all the different mobs. It's pretty crazy. It's actually an invisible iron golem if you're wondering how it works command wise. But uh, they'll all disappear with time. You'll all see, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, watch. All gone, every single one. One thing to note that when you've used up 15 iron golem chicken thingies, like such, your armor will disappear. Watch, you ready for this? Disappears. Should also be noted that since you can spawn in all of them at once, you are capable of spamming. So if you happen to have multiple red shirts on you at once, you can literally just spam. Watch, you've got 50 right now. First one disappeared, second one disappeared. So you can spam these if you make a lot. Next shirt up for grabs is gonna be for all the farmers in the area. It's going to be an extremely quick way to plant wheat seeds. You're gonna need a leather dye, four lime dye, or leather tunic, right. Four lime dyes, a seeds, and then naturally the 10 feathers in each corner and you'll get your green shirt. This thing, look, you see, he's got something to say. Throw a seed on grass or dirt block to instantly grow some wheat. This will break after 60 uses. So similar to the Iron Golem chicken army, 
You only get 60 uses out of this. You got 15 out of that one, but it will break after the 60 uses. Check this out. It's the coolest thing in the world. Drop some seeds on the ground. Check out what happens. It will turn them instantly into farmland that grows in front of you. Ugh. It only works on grass and dirt. Watch. You ready for this? Watch. <laughs> oh, man. E yeah. Love it. I'm literally just spam dropping. Okay, so you can't do it in the air, but you get my point. Look at this. Oh, I love this so much. We're just watching it grow around me. Nice. And again, after 60 uses, these things will break too. This next one's a favorite of mine. It allows you to levitate mobs in the air. Let's make this next one right here. Blaze powder, four bone meals, your egg, your tunic, and of course, the right, the feathers. Place it on. Check it out. Hold a feather in your offhand to levitate creatures. The armor will break after an entire minute of use. Which means, in theory, you can you can technically make a, a single feather stretching off a long time where the feather's at. So we got a bunch of mobs right here. We're gonna put on a feather in our offhand. Check out what happens. Look at this. And they will keep levitating until you either get too far away from them and then they'll fall, or until you stop holding the feather. Watch. Levitation effect will go away. Shortly after I let go of the feather. Boom! And you can literally just kill all the mobs around you by just letting them levitate over and over and over. Let that thing go up. And again, you've got 60 seconds for one chest plate. There's a timer going down right now. Once you hit 60 seconds, the chest plate, like the others, will disappear. So you got a full minute of levitation when you decide you want to add this. This is going to be great for killing mobs. It's just really fun. <laughs> we got two shirts to go, baby. This one's awesome. This one's going to allow you to get spawn eggs. In your survival mode, you're gonna need a bone because it represents uh, life or something. And of course, the tunics, the eggs as usual, the feathers as usual, and yellow dye to get yourself a yellow shirt. Used to get mob heads. We're gonna change that to say used to get mob eggs be because it's it's a uh, it's it's mob eggs. Now this one works in a very unique way. Well, let's go ahead and put the shirt on so Drum can tell us a little more. Mmm, yeah, his favorite. Walk around with this baby on, and a mob egg may drop. When the mob egg drops, mobs nearby will glow so you can find it. Armor breaks once the egg is spawned. So here's how it works. Anytime you happen across a mob, you have a 1% chance of that mob spawning in a spawn egg of the same type. If it didn't happen that time, it will never happen with that mob. But you'll see what will happen across a mob. You see? Now look what happens. Mobs will glow white. This is an Optifine issue. They'll normally only be highlighted white, but I got Optifine on so I can zoom on my face. <laughs> but wherever there are mobs nearby glowing like that, that is going to be where the spawn egg is nearby. So let's try and locate this thing. And you'll see that these babies are slowly disappearing. Where is this egg? There it is. There's the zombie egg. Perfect. So, there's a chance that we got a cow spawn egg. Look at them. It is just spawning in out the wazoo, left, right, and the other. So, it does not work with every single mob. You can't do it on villagers. You can't do it on the ender dragon. You can't do it on the wither boss. Works for a large portion of the mobs. In fact, most of the mobs you can get spawn eggs from using this method. However, it may take a while, and you will note that I am slowly losing <laughs> all my different chests plates as I'm spawning in. All these different mobs. Now, come on. Give me some chickens, baby. Sometimes it takes a while. Remember, it's technically supposed to be an extremely low percentage chance that you get these spawn eggs. So, if you happen to not get any after a while, well, that's just luck of the draw. Now, Drumstick's favorite was the spawn egg one, but my favorite's going to be the last one that we got right here. This is going to get you some seriously special loot. You'll need your egg. You'll need your tunic. You'll need the feathers. Nothing new there. Hail of Bay. Bail it, bail it, bail it, hey, nice. Four lapis, check it out, check it out. Not only is this the final shirt, so we're gonna get two messages from Drum right here, but this shirt does something real good, check it out. Boom! The blue nest armor, wear this and every morning a nest will appear nearby calling for you. The nest will vanish after just two minutes, but don't worry, you get seven tries to get this loot. Ooh, see, we've made all the shirts, and don't call me a meat sack, Drum. Ultimate t-shirt, look at that. With designs most dope, a journey, but not yet, huh? We need to wait for the t-shirts to make it to the real world where they'll be for sale. So, so soon, baby. Yeah. So, if you didn't realize, we got some t-shirts coming involving Drumstick and myself. Save your dollars, baby. It's coming real soon. Anyways, this final shirt. We're here on the overworld now, no longer in the dungeon to show you what this blue shirt does. 
You ever heard a rooster in the morning? No. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Time to wake up, mother. Yeah, well, that's what this baby does. So, with that time set zero, whenever the ticks hit zero in your world, a random chest made with nests and other goodies will spawn in your overworld within a 30 block radius around you, something like that. It's close. And you'll have to play a little bit of hide and seek. You may have heard for a hot second there some sound effects coming from a chicken. A distressed chicken, no less. Well, that is basically your indication of where this chest has spawned in the overworld. I'm just going to go into creative mode to show you this thing. But we got to find this baby. It's been spawned around here somewhere. Where did you go, mother? I think it's in the trees, actually. So the closer you get to this chest, the louder the chicken sounds will get. But you only have two minutes to find the chest. Otherwise, that's it. Disappears. When you found your loot chest, you'll find custom loot. Stone swords that have random knockback and attack speed notifications, bows that have melee weapon enchants on them, and feathers that give looting and slight max health additions when they are held. Look, we got two extra hearts off this thing! There's also various gems and other valuables that you may enjoy finding. But, let me show you how this thing works. Again, this baby's gonna disappear after two minutes. So, we'll just let it disappear. And it's gone! And again, the way you'll spawn all these in is just every time it turns morning, it's time to do it again. Time set zero. Look, another one just spawned in. This one spawned real close to me. Like I said, the closer you get, the louder the chicken sound will get. If you get too far from it, it'll stop making noise all together. Let's see what's in this one, huh? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Hey, Not bad. Another one. <laughs> another one. Ooh! Whoa! Check out the knockback resistance and knockback on this thing. Nice attack! Wow! I'm a fan. And once you've done and gotten seven loots for yourself, the shirt will eventually break itself. So you can see, that's what we're working on right here. Just slowly getting... There's the shirt gone. Boom. Boom. What's the final- oh man, I lost all my things. Oops. <laughs> all the items got deleted because of my commands. Now, unfortunately, there's still a few bugs and kinks here and there that need to be worked out before the install and download can be made available to you guys. So, I know I had to say it at the start of the video, but the install's not ready yet. Join us for the third video, which is also going to coincide with the launch of the Drumstick T-Shirts. And a third world as well, for you to play hide and seek with. Kind of ties in with the shirt itself. So stick around to see the install. The download's coming real soon, I promise. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. Have a great day. Make sure you check out this awesome shirt command, even if you don't care about the shirts in-game. These are some really sweet armors that you can add to your Minecraft 1.10 and Onwards Worlds to make your game a little more interesting. Have a great day. Make sure you subscribe to see the next and finale to the Drumstick Saga, or whatever it's called. <laughs> and we'll see you later.